And then there's Erica's appearance. For an AI to be relatable enough to join humanity in the future, she has to look like one of us. Human appearances are so important for us. Every morning we, we check the face and hairstyle. If I want to have a, a kind of idea robot, interactive robot with humans, human likeness is important. Having the, the human-like ability to express emotion and the human-like ability to communicate through speech and gesture uh, has often been shown to be very effective in, in reaching people because they connect on a more emotional level. There's a lot of interest in robots for elderly care, for therapy, for um, maybe tutors or educational applications, and you know, just general companionship. Erica may seem a little weird right now, but imagine how she'll be once they've worked out the kinks. She'll appear to be practically human, and some think that's when the difference between AI and human will be moot. Once they can make something look just like a human being, then it's like, who cares? Because you don't even know what you're talking to. You don't know that it's fake. Is artificial intelligence human if it acts the same way that we do? Who knows? Erica is either thrilling or terrifying. She'll be smart enough to do what we do, and she'll never complain about her hours or demand a raise or a paycheck at all. While AI androids evolve to become more indistinguishable from humans, the next stage of automation will dramatically affect what it means to be human. The battle for survival is on.